Hey guys, welcome to Adventures in Malibu and Dad. Today we drove up on another piece of history, guys. The town of Worthen, Georgia. And uh, you'll see during this video, we're actually going to meet a descendant of this family that we happen to come across. You're going to see what a beautiful old town this used to be and how history and time changes just like that in an instant. So I'm glad we could share this with you today. So come aboard. Let's go check out a little bit of history here in Georgia. Hey guys, so this is uh, the home of Macon Worthen. He's one of the founding fathers of the town. This is a two-story Victorian home here, which is very beautiful even to today. And this is where the Worthen town is, the town of Worthen. As you walk down this way, uh, we'll take you over some of the sites that we saw to bring the town together with uh, the history. So inside the history of the Worthen town also is the history of uh, Mr. Burr, who was the uh, vice president to uh, like Thomas Jefferson. And he was arrested and brought in for treason and from Alabama, and I guess they came through Georgia here. This is what we've discovered so far and this is the jail that he was held in this is the first jail ever built in washington county here in georgia and it says here on the placard and this is the site of the first washington county jail erected in 1783 of logs and it housed aaron burr incarcerated here 1807 and moved to trial for treason so pretty neat you know we just drove up on this putting it all together but it's right here in the middle of the town of Worthen uh, in Georgia all right so as we walk through the town here Worthen this old uh, cobblestone dirt road here this seems to be the main street of the downtown now this building here which is pretty old was the mercantile a part of uh, I guess the Wortham Brothers uh, Mercantile. This is the building here, dated 1912. And like the rest of the town, it's just uh, starting to come apart. This is the old train depot. Now it looks like they rehabilitated it. Because it looks pretty good. And I can use, as you can see, does have a train depot look to it. It's very nice how they redone it. And that was part of the town. I guess the train must run right through here at one time or another. The Worthen. An overview. So we're really blessed to have run into him today on this uh, journey and adventure. So I'm going to give it over to him. And uh, how you doing? Okay. Tell us thank about you. your tell us about your family well, lineage here. Thank you for coming to the Worthen Family Cemetery here in Worthen, Georgia, a little town in central Georgia of about 300 people, and our family's been here since 1783. And this tall grave in the middle was uh, my great great grandfather Richard Worthen, 
and he and his wife, who lived in a house that still exists here, had 12 children, six boys and six girls, and most all of them are buried here. So my parents are here, grandparents, great-grandparents, great-great-grandfather was Richard Worthing. And as you see, these iron Confederate markers indicate a Civil War veteran, and there are six of those scattered around the cemetery. And um, it's a beautiful, beautiful, peaceful place for yes. their eternal rest. Um, one very interesting Civil War veteran was killed up in Richmond, Virginia in 1862. And uh, a gentleman went up there in an ox cart to bring his body back here to Worthen because he knew he would want to be buried here. So that's pretty much it in, the nut, in a nutshell. I, I guess you got a view of all the graves. Some of them are beautiful Victorian graves. Some you can see are more modern, but all the Worthens, wherever they may live, come back here to be buried. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, thank you. All. Thank you very much. So we were very blessed to have that uh, descendant come down here and show us the graveyard here in the town of Worthen. And I'm going to go ahead and walk you down the rest of the old town. Of course, now it's been paved in this part. But uh, he said this is the original roadway. Went all the way to Savannah. And uh, this was the original train station. They took out the tracks, they said, in 1933. And basically what killed this town was uh, the Great Depression and the boll weevil that killed off the cotton uh, growth here that ruined the cotton. So it just about killed this town off, but you know, here we are. Some rem remnants of history, a descendant still here. And let me show you the rest of the town. Obviously it progressed later on. Uh, this is the original bank building, which is absolutely beautiful. And uh, you can see where it says originally the bank on the top. Then they tore down the section of uh, the town. They put this fire department here. And then you got the old water tower. But there's still this old section here. And this is like old rusty gold here, man. It looks like an old, uh, looks like a baking company or baking company. You can just faintly read some of the stuff on the walls. But the building is just obviously dated. And uh, he says they're going to be building a highway through here. So this might be the last vlog you'll see of this little bit of town left. And what's here? This is the original little door. And, man, it's going to be a shame. I hate to see this kind of stuff get uh, taken down. It's just such a nice story. And you can come here. They do have uh, building markers. And they have a little story. If you go down to the end of the road here in Worthen, Georgia, where the jail's at, they have a donation box and they have pamphlets. And it gives you an overview of all the different uh, stores and what they were. Some of the things. But uh, man, look at this building. This is the kind of stuff, guys. Look at that, it's metal. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the doorway. In tears. God, I just love the old history and the old bricks. See the old electric here. Man, they don't even do electric outlets like that anymore. Woo, that is old. You can see the cable up on the building. That's the matching. This one here has the actual metal exterior 
Hopefully somebody will save that. I sure, I sure hope so anyway. And this is the Warden Volunteer Fire Department. Like I said, they tore down some other buildings across the street to build this. You know, progress. Progress happens, I guess. But uh, you can see it. You can feel it. The history here. And the stories of the generations as uh, Mr. Worthen told us about. About how it started off as a small town and the jail and the kids. And they're all there at the gravesite of the family town cemetery. Most of it, like I said, has been torn down. But I love these old towns in Georgia. I really love stories like this, guys. I don't know how much longer this will be up. He says they are going to be building a four-lane highway through here. And this history may be history soon. So I'm glad and I feel blessed that I'm able to preserve it, at least with this vlog on my channel. And this is a beautiful old building here. You see the different brickwork. Look at the interior. So this is the old drugstore. My research partner, my wife, Darlene, just informed me. And so this was uh, where they'd come in every day and buy their wares. Obviously, it's really dilapidated. But man, look at the old shelves you can kind of see. Look at that old rusty bike. Man, it looks like it should be in some type of uh, museum. The old front door wood frame. Very neat. And this was a general merchandise store here. You can see they're about, about the same length. Man, look at that. I feel like I'm going in an old western town. How rusty and... Look at that roof. Look at that entrance though. Isn't that amazing? The refrigerator. Look at that front door. And look at this, guys. This is exactly the exterior metal, as we saw in the other buildings across the ways. Isn't that beautiful? And it goes all the way down to the floor. So these, are, I guess, were made for entryways back then, and they were just solid steel. I mean, you can see that's just beautiful. And this old door. The old cigarette sign there. Anvil brand, work and play clothes. Let's see if we can get an inside shot. Oh, and it's all gutted out. There's nothing in there. But, uh, if you could walk through a door of time, what you would see in there. It's just amazing. So the house across the street here, which is a big home, is part of his family lineage. And they had uh, 12 children, I believe he told me. And they lived in that home there. It's been redone, obviously. But that's where the uh, 12 uh, children were raised, and that's part of the family home. And located on this uh, crazy Y in the road here, where cars come from both sides, into this uh, area here, and then on to 102 and 15 here in Georgia. So, big overview of the town again. Just a neat find, guys. Part of history that's uh, going away, unfortunately. But I love the uh, the old the old buildings like that.
Man, that's just so cool. Oh, look at the signage here. I guess this is where the old fire department used to be. This would be an old consignment shop. What it says here, Turner's. So I'm sure over the generations it's been different, different things. But, uh, wow. Thanks for joining me on this bit of Georgia history of uh, the town of Warden. And got to meet the descendant of this little ghost town now. So, very cool. The vlog is now over.